Hello, my name is Ugona Uku. I am with the Rubber Bandit, and I am going to walk you through a lower body workout. My right leg is strapped in. Make sure when you want to start with your left side to start this all over again. With the band taut and your leg extended slightly forward, squeeze your glutes and kick your leg across your body. Then repeat with the other leg in the opposite direction when you're finished. Make sure to keep your leg straight and push from your ankle. Obviously you can touch any stationary object for balance or test your might and do without. Stand tall on your supporting leg, with your abs tight and your back straight. Our next exercise is going to be the glute raise. Make sure you keep your left leg straight and don't hyperextend your lower back as you extend your right leg. Similar to the previous exercise, you want to keep your body and leg straight and push from your ankle. Push your leg back as far as you can while tightening your glutes, or rather, your buttocks. Take a step back further away from the anchor point to raise the resistance if you need to. This is a really good glute definition exercise to help sculpt that tush. This third exercise is what I like to call the 180. Again, make sure you keep that left leg straight and don't hyperextend that back. We're almost combining the last two exercises by kicking your leg back in a 180 degree arc. This will hit a lot of those little glute muscles we missed in the first two exercises. The bigger the arc you make with your leg, the more difficult this lift becomes. Remember, you can simultaneously work on your balance by not holding on to any object for assistance. This fourth exercise is in the extension. Now make sure as you raise your leg that you keep it at the same height and you don't hyperextend your standing leg. Elevate your knee to raise your foot off the ground and slowly kick your foot out until your leg is fully extended in front of you. Contract your quad muscles, which is the front of your thigh, at the end before slowly returning back to starting position. Keep your knee elevated so that your foot never touches the ground. You can always take a step further from the anchor point to increase the resistance if you want. Of course, you want to perform the same series with your other leg when finished, so you don't walk funny after. This fifth exercise is a knee raise into a lunge. You have the option of supporting yourself with a stationary object, but if you want to raise the level of difficulty, you can do it without it. I'll do it both ways so you can see how it's done. Start by kicking your knee forward, as if to knee someone in the groin, although we all know that's not a nice thing to do. Then kick that leg back and lower yourself until your knee almost touches the ground. Push yourself up through the front of your thigh and repeat by kicking that knee forward again. Your non-strapped in foot should remain flat on the ground with your body weight centered over it. You can challenge yourself by taking longer strides or distancing yourself further from the anchor point. Also, the slower you go, the more difficult this exercise becomes. Make it burn, baby. The sixth and last exercise in this lower body series is a calf raise. You can also support yourself on a stationary pose if you need to. Raise your ankle up as high as you can by pushing your whole body up with your toes. Flex your calf muscles at the top before lowering yourself back to starting position. You want to keep your entire body still with the exception of your foot. Again, you can improve your balance by not using any stationary object for support. 
To mix it up, you can point your toes inward or outward to engage all areas of your calf muscles. Go hard, and you gonna get it like Ugona Uku. Exercise your freedom. During this lower body series, I demonstrated a count of 15 repetitions. If you can't quite do 15 yet, that's okay. But if you can push yourself and do a little bit more, that's even better. Just go at your own pace, that's the secret.